As we know, Vader handles failure by pretty much killing them. He might give them a couple more chances to prove themselves, but if they fail again, Vader was just gonna kill them. Thrawn, however, uses a different approach for failure. Thrawn demanded results from his subordinates, but never perfection. If they failed a task, Thrawn will be patient and understanding of them, because unlike Vader, Thrawn actually cares about his people, even to the point of standing up for them against people above him like Darth Vader for example. However, he doesn't tolerate people who are incompetent. We see a lot of incompetent Imperials in the show, Rebels, such as Constantine for example, who would disobey orders and was very arrogant. Imperials who share a lack of understanding or are just lazy will get court-martialed back on Coruscant. I will now show you an excerpt from the novel Thrawn that shows Thrawn's thoughts of failure. No one is immune from failure. All have tasted the bitterness of defeat and disappointment. A warrior must not dwell on that failure, but must learn from it and continue on. But not all learn from their errors. That is something those who seek to dominate others know very well and know how to exploit. If an opponent has failed once at a logic problem, his enemy will first try the same type of problem hoping the failure will be repeated. What the manipulator sometimes forgets, and what a warrior must always remember, is that no two sets of circumstances are alike. One challenge is not like another. The would-be victim may have learned from the earlier mistake, or there may have been an unanticipated or unknown crossing of life paths. Unfortunately, Thrawn's style of leadership is very rare in the Empire, and it's mostly made up of people like Tarkin and Vader, who are very impatient and unforgiving. Leading by loyalty is much more effective because they will fight for Thrawn, whether he's there or not. We can see how a lot of his subordinates are very loyal to Thrawn, and you can see this throughout all the canon Thrawn novels. So it'll be very interesting to see how they handle it in the Ahsoka show, if they will still follow the rules of him being very understanding, because Thrawn doesn't really just kill his subordinates, you know, if they fail maybe once or twice, like he doesn't just kill them. Worst case is if they're just very incompetent, he'll just fire them or get them, you know, arrested or something for just sheer incompetence, but he's not gonna ever just kill you. So that's how Thrawn deals with the insubordination, and that's about it for this video.